Let's click on the V-Ray icon to open up the V-Ray Asset Editor, where you'll manage all of your assets in V-Ray. The Asset Editor has been updated with new functionality in V-Ray Next to improve your workflow. At the top of the Asset Editor, you'll see that we have a row of icons that represent different categories in V-Ray Next. Icons we're currently viewing are blue, whereas white icons indicate we are not viewing them but they contain some data, and grayed out icons do not contain any data at the moment. If I click on the Lights category, you'll see that I get a list of all the lights currently in my scene. In this case, I've got a Rhino Document Sun by default. In the Textures tab, I also have an Environments guy. Next, if I right-click on the new Textures tab, I'll get a drop-down list of different V-Ray textures I can add to my scene. Similarly, if I left-click on a category with no data, such as the new Render Elements tab, I'll be presented a list of V-Ray render elements to choose from. Now, if I hold Control when I click, I can add multiple render elements to my scene without closing the drop-down list. Once again, if I click on the Geometry tab, we can choose to add V-Ray geometry to the scene, for example, a V-Ray Clipper. You'll see we also can add different V-Ray lights from the Lights tab, as well as choose from a variety of V-Ray materials in the Materials tab. Each drop-down list displays V-Ray features specific to that V-Ray category, making it simple to find exactly what you're looking for quickly. In addition, you can also hold Control and click on multiple categories to view a combination of them together. If you press the shortcut Control a you can easily view them all at once. We can also create materials, textures, and so on by clicking on the plus icon at the foot of the Asset Editor, just like in previous versions of V-Ray. Now let's open the left-hand flyout menu, where we can explore the V-Ray Materials Library, as well as the brand new Creation menu. If I click the drop-down arrow next to it, you'll see the same category options are available here as well. We can also easily search for specific assets. For example, if I type Curve, you'll see that I get the option to add a Bezier or Spline Curve. Next, let's twirl up the Create menu and explore the V-Ray Materials Library. If we click its drop-down arrow, you'll see we have a large list of different material categories to choose from. Again, we can also search for specific materials. Note that the search also goes through all subfolders to show you all the relevant results together. If I type Flooring, you'll see we get options for concrete floors, wood laminate floors, and so forth. If I hold Shift, I can select a range of multiple floorings together, and then right-click to add them to my scene where they'll now appear in my Materials category on the right. Similarly, I can hold Shift and select the range of floorings I just added, and right-click to delete them from my scene. In V-Ray Next, you can also now load in a custom library by clicking on the folder icon on the bottom left here. I'm going to load in this custom library folder here, containing a bunch of VR mat files I organized in advance. You'll see that it has a variety of assets within it, such as render elements, lights, materials, and so on. Custom libraries can be used as templates and imported into other projects, or even shared between colleagues using network locations, making it possible to have a single unified library for all the members of your team to access. To add something to my scene, for example this spotlight, I can simply drag and drop it, and you'll see the categories at the top of the Asset Editor update to display the lights as well. Now I can make changes to the spotlight, like changing its intensity, by clicking on this value and entering something new. Then, if I want to save the changes to my custom library, I can drag and drop it back into the library. Then simply click Replace Spotlight to replace the previous spotlight settings, or click elsewhere to cancel. 